What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at the best way for you to power up to the new level cap. So as of Season of the Worthy, the power cap is going to be 1010, so if you want to find the optimal way to reach that, then this is the video for you. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. If you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, let's jump into the video. Now with each new season you're faced with new challenges that require a bit of power acquisition to take on and in Season of the Worthy you'll not only be challenged with trials but also legendary lost sectors and Grandmaster Nightfalls later in the season. Now the idea of this video today is to help you level up in the fastest way possible and in order to do that you first need to be aware of three power caps that are in place going into next season as these have changed by up to 40 points in some instances. Now powerful gear will now drop up to 1000 with pinnacles taking you up to 1010. The soft cap has been effectively raised by 50 points and gear will drop from nearly all sources and will continue to be upgrades up until 950 power. So the soft cap is now 950 power, the powerful cap is now 1000 and the pinnacle cap is 1010 going into season of the worthy. Now learning which sources give you what power is key to faster and more effective leveling. The vast majority of activities will drop loot up to the soft cap of 950 which means that you can start off playing Destiny 2 and you can simply play the game how you want to in order to level up. And in terms of some of the ideas of what this includes, blue and purple engrams will drop from pretty much any enemy. You can decrypt them from blue or purple engrams. You can also get these from leveling up at the tower vendors such as Zavala, Shax and the Gunsmith. Individual clan bounties will also offer you powerful gear and then pretty much running any activities such as public events, lost sectors, strikes, crucible, you name it, any drop that you get will help you achieve the soft cap. So if you're new to Destiny or you're jumping back in for this season, just play the game your way and you'll eventually easily get to the 950 soft cap. The most effective way I found to get any characters up to the soft cap is simply by farming public events. These spawn on a very regular basis and almost guarantee you one or two blues per completion. You simply need to equip these blues and that will help you level up faster towards the soft cap. Now a key thing to remember with the start of a new season is you'll get a new season pass and whilst this will provide many levels of XP and also materials along the way, there are a few things that you should bear in mind when utilising the new pass. Now in the first instance, if you're on the premium track, under no circumstances do you want to initially grab this package here. This will provide a full set of armour, which whilst is nice to have, it won't be the most optimal way of increasing your power. Now the right time to pick up this package is roughly when you're approaching the power cap. This will be when you start mid-maxing your build and pushing towards the pinnacle levels. Now powerful gear is broken up into different sources, some will provide 2 to 3 increases in your power, whilst others will provide 3 to 4. Now in the first instance you want to start with the lower numbers and you work your way through the activities, completing each milestone as you go. This will start off with things like flashpoints, nightmare hunts, defeating 30 nightmares, the lunar's calling which is the lectern of enchantment quest, any vanguard strike playlist, the nightfall ordeal playlist, as well as completing 8 bounties for any of the tower vendors. In terms of tier 2 powerful rewards which can provide 3 to 4 power increases, this would be anything from the Crucible playlist, either the core activity or the rotator playlist itself, any weekly moon story missions if you're still working through those, any gambit playlists as well as any clan XP tower vendor bounties. A couple of other non-tier powerful gear sources that will drop as you play are things like prime engrams, exotic engrams and a handful of one-time powerful sources such as things from exotic quests. Now a thing to bear in mind with the new season as well is with new activities the chances are our first completion of each activity each week may potentially offer a powerful reward as well. So using this in combination with all the current powerful sources we know are excellent ways of being able to slowly increase your power level. Now if you have more than one character the key thing to do is to complete all your milestones on one character first. Once you've completed all those you simply want to move your weapons over to your next character and repeat the same process. This will help you farm out the powerful rewards to the maximum potential available before jumping into the pinnacle grind. Now a final hint and tip for powerful rewards is think about which ones are entirely based on RNG in terms of their rewards versus those that are actually selectable rewards. So what I mean by that, if we take a look at the Lectern of Enchantment for example, with this you're able to choose which type of powerful reward you're likely to get. This will help you massively when you're coming towards the end of your powerful grind, especially if you're looking for a particular weapon or armour piece for a particular slot. And this moves us nicely onto the Pinnacle gear which will help you push towards the 1010 Pinnacle cap. 
Now, these are some of the most challenging, but also time consuming activities in the game. And most of them will require a fire team and can't be done solo. So a couple of examples are the current year three raid, the Garden of Salvation that will provide pinnacle gear alongside the Pit of Heresy dungeon, Nightmare Hunts on the Master difficulty will currently also provide Pinnacle Gear as well as the Nightfall Ordeal with a score of 100,000 points or more. And finally, once Iron Banner becomes available, that will also provide Pinnacle Gear. Now when it comes to the most effective power leveling, you most definitely want to make sure you're always starting with your weakest Guardian first. So the one that you want to run trials with at the end of week one, make sure he's the last one that you're running any activities on. But much like the powerful grind, the pinnacle grind is very similar. You want to complete every current activity available on each character, gradually transferring each weapon over to make sure your next Guardian is more powerful than the last, finishing on your most used Guardian. Now on the topic of Pinnacle Grind, the Pinnacle Band is being reviewed mid-season as part of update 2.8.1, so they'll be upgrading some of the existing powerful rewards into Pinnacle Rewards, and this includes weekly Crucible, Strike and Gambit challenges, as well as the weekly Clan Engram. So as we move further into the season, the Pinnacle Grind will get easier. So there we have it guys, that is a breakdown of how to go about the most effective way to increase your power in Season 10, Season of the Worthy, and also a breakdown of the Soft Cap, the Powerful Cap, and all the activities included within the Pinnacle Cap for the up and coming season. Now as with any new season, be sure to take enough breaks and drink plenty of water throughout. I know it's very tempting to go long and hard into the new season, but make sure you're taking the rest you need to make sure you're not worn out ahead of trials on Friday. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.